This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Yo, you know it was nice while it lasted. Black History Month. A time to be proud, to be black, be chocolate, be who I am. Now it's over. Now as I metamorphosis into my true self, my true skin, a white, Caucasian, businessman named Tanner Danner Connor. Oh my God, damn I look good and snazzy. Can't wait to get home and eat some Grey Poupon. So no more bowing down buddies, it's time to bow up. <laughs> oh hello guys, it's me. Tanner Connor Skyler Connor Danner the Tanner the Third. Oh, it's such a lovely night, I must insist. Have you tried the Grey Poupon on top of mayonnaise crackers? It really tastes beloved, I tell you. Nothing like being rich, white, and devastatingly beautiful. <laughs> How you doing out there? I'm doing fine. Just getting myself prepared for the Donald Trump convention. You know, last time we had a ball. I'm hoping to have many more. <laughs> oh, have you heard this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Black man. <laughs> <laughs> we told that one to the grandchildren out on the yacht in Alabama. Mm, get into these natural eyes. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Pierre, a.k.a. Nina, Bonina, Banana, Banana, Don, Christopher, Columbus, Danner, Tanner, Scott, Christy, all the white names you can think about, Brown. <laughs> we are back for another UK versus the world. Raw view, which I shouldn't be doing because secretly the last time I did the last video, it wasn't that many much traffic going on in the video. So I'm like, what's the point? But here we are anyway. So yes, y'all know how we do it here. This is a place where you come to do what? Keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot out. Meaning, share your opinions. We want to hear them. We want to see them. Just don't be all ignorant with it. But yeah, this look... <laughs> I actually came on the whim today because I was not planning on doing any kind of thing at all, like for real, for real. But I was going to my phone. I was like, I want to post some stuff on Instagram today because, okay, I know, have y'all noticed how Instagram and certain sites, right, that claim they're against porn, they claim they're against nudity and stuff like that, right? But you see, they allow certain people to post things that are very provocative. You know, at first it's stuff like, okay, women waxing their cooters, which to me, they consider it, I guess, educational. Yeah, sure. But you be seeing all these men who basically should be on Twitter, but they be like posting their junk and everything. Like, I mean, like you could see their junk, and, and for some reason, that's okay, you know. But I get in trouble for posting the most normal things, and I'm like, so they can post their crotch, but for instance, you know, my friend Aline. He can post a picture of him doing Rogue the Bat from Sonic the Hedgehog. A cartoon character who shows a little bit of cleavage. A cartoon, paper head, and that gets reported in for sexuality. So anyway, so they let, that led me to go to my phone and was like, I'm going to post a thirst trap picture. So I, can't, I, I, forgot, I forgot when I had ordered this wig, I had took a couple of pictures. <laughs> I thought I was giving Jean-Claude Van Damme tees. <laughs> and so that's why I have this on today. Because I was like, you know what? And also... Black History Month is over. Oh, I know all the white people are cheering right now. Calm down. Calm down, Mary. Calm down, Danner. Calm down, Tommy. Calm down, Sammy. Calm down, Jordan. Calm down, Luke. Calm down, Tooth. Calm down, all you white folks. Calm down. It'll be here again in a few months. You know, just calm down. Settle down. But... <laughs> Yes, so I no longer can tell y'all to bow down. 
But what I can tell y'all to do is bow up. So it's time to bow up. Okay? Still tip and pay reparations. And you know how I know that Black History Month is over? Because of this guy right here. White guys, I'm in love with your farts. I'm in love with white guys 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 farts. I'm in love with smelling 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 white guys farts. Something tells me that's Bob and Monet's niece. When I tell you he looks like he smells farts, he looks annoying, he looks like he has issues. What is it about white men farts that turns you on? Does it smell like bologna and spam? Tobacco? What? What is it? But speaking of Bobby Monet, now that I look like this, maybe they will invite me to their podcast. Jay, hey! <laughs> oh, the things you do by Gina Thompson. But yeah, you know, if you want to tip and all that, like I said, thank you for the guys who do tip me. All the information is down below in the description box. And I read all your tips on the season 16 videos. So yeah, thank you in advance. Remember, tipping is not a what? A country in China. So we're going to read a couple of comments and do a jamming with Pierre. And now that I am in my Caucasian era, I'm going to have to find some white song that I like to seal the deal. Or something that I think will go along with it, if you will. I said Nina was low-key flexing when critiquing, uh, sorry, critiquing Charisse's mug on Mark Simpson. She knew that she's the face queen. There was no episode from her batch that she looked the same. One of the reasons why I love Nina. No, I was not flexing. I really wasn't. It's just that because I know how to change my face to different shapes and stuff. I just wish queens would do the same thing. You know, we all just look, look the same, but in a different color. And I think it's yeah, it is a talent to be able to do that, to, to change your facial structure to something else. And I wish a lot of girls would do that instead of looking like themselves. But, you know, it is what it is. In my mind, they started UK versus the world just so Jimbo could get a win, even though she lost. Because they saw big potential in her for the drag franchise, and now they got to keep the series going. So it's not obvious. They're just inviting these random queens who are not good enough for the All-Stars, even though All-Stars be inviting some random queens as well nowadays. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that could be true about the whole Jimbo thing. And at this point, yeah, they are just inviting anybody to be on All-Stars. Had they had not sold All-Stars as if it was like only for the best, like the best of the best, right? Like the best queens to come back. We probably wouldn't be saying stuff like that. But now, you know, when, I, when you see them inviting girls like, I'm not being messy, but let's say, I don't know, what, Serena Cha-Cha. You know, which I think she did deserve a chance to come back. But I'm just saying, a lot of y'all look at her like she's not an all-star or whatever. Then you are questioning, like, is it really the best of the best? Oh, I noticed the nude illusion right away. Thank you for speaking on John Bonet. I think about it almost every, almost daily. Isn't that weird how certain things you think about <laughs> have nothing to do with you? But, you know, even, like, back then, I did think about it a lot. Now, my mind kind of, like... It'll come every blue moon. Random thought, but Nina, you should do your own makeup competition show on your YouTube, like Dark Mode Raven. Oh, you have the expertise, the charisma, and the fan base, the real piggies to interact with. It can be super serious or silly and fun. I would definitely watch. Make our own table over here. No, I've tried doing that before, though, I think. Or like I talk, or maybe it was one of the things where I talked about, but I never followed through. Just like, I remember I had this thing going on where I was like, whoever does something gets one of my shirts. Did that ever happen? <laughs> But I do recall me shipping a shirt off to somebody. But, like, I could, for fun, like, be like, you know, I could be like, let's, okay, let's, let's say, I say, let's do peach look. And then maybe I could select 10 people to do their best peach look and then put in the next raw view and the fans can vote on who did the best whatever, plus me. And then we could do something like that. So, yeah, if y'all think that's a good idea, let me know down below. I'll mention it again probably in a season 16 video. I'm happy that Tia pads now. Just wish she padded more. I'm not asking for Nina Bonina or Coco Kane levels of padding. Just something to di dif differentiate her hips from her waist. And then I was like, but how about Gothy? <laughs> I didn't mention Tia, but Tia, at least Tia bodies a little more. And Gothy ain't doing nothing. I was like, RuPaul's workroom outfit that she had on last week. 
reminds them of Bath and Body Works. It did. That little that pattern, the blue and white pattern with the pink was literally Bath and Body Works. <laughs> he could have been their mascot. Someone says, I have a theory. I honestly believe that Thorgy Thor was supposed to be on this season instead of Scarlet because of Thorgy and Tia Coffee's well-known online hilarious feud that took place during Tia's original season. The two ended up squashing it via Bob the Drag Queen. I said, seeing that Keta picked Shariza made much more sense as to why they gave LGD the win over Keta in the lip syncs. Even though LGD sucked, clearly they didn't want Shariza to go home yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, another, another comment. Oh my God, Nina, get out of my head. I kid you not. I have watched every documentary about the John JonBenet Ramsey case. I am completely devoted to that case, even though I don't think it will ever be solved. I know. I, you know, I hope we never, I never am personally in that situation where, let alone somebody takes one of your loved ones, but also it never gets solved. I don't know how you even go on living life, honestly. Like, it would really deteriorate me. So, you know, God rest her soul, though. Unfortunately, I guess we, I guess we'll never know for real. Because by now, I'm quite sure her body's like, you know, dust. You know, pretty much. You know, unless they kept some something. You know, but I guess, I guess her DNA. But we'll never know. Here for Pierre spreading false Black history information that somebody who was out of touch would actually believe it. <laughs> and the twins have the same legs as Gothy, but they pad so well to the point where you can't tell. John Burst was sabotaged and didn't get enough time for her runway. Last was good. Lastly, Pierre strictly given 90s immature band member. <laughs> oh, immature. I said they need to go back to the old format and cut so many different franchises. We end up getting series with queens who aren't good for the show. Sorry, but it's true. If they were that good, they would have done well in their own seasons. It makes the all-star thing meaningless and not entertaining. For example, what's that good about Scarlet Envy? That we need another season with her. And I shared this opinion for most of the queens on this season. I do think you're speaking a lot of truth. But I guess it also can come off a little harsh. Um, because just because a queen may or not have done that good on their season. Doesn't mean that they're not a good queen. Like it, you know, it doesn't mean that, that they're not a good queen. They just, unfortunately, it didn't work out for that part on the show. You know, they fumbled a little bit or something. Or either production played games. But it doesn't mean they're bad queens, right? But I get what you're saying though. The way the nipples from Teresa's outfit was still in the video, I'm cracking up. Right now, when I tried blurring out Teresa's Mark Simpson um, breasts, but I didn't see the other side was still there. <laughs> oh, well, I'll read this tip here only because it was on this video and he put it on YouTube. Thank you, Zeller, back for your tip. I appreciate it. I said, Nina, this season is shh. I can't even dare to watch it. I'm struggling to even pay attention to the raw view. I'd rather watch you doing groceries. <laughs> oh, now let's get to jamming with Pierre. This song right here is very much sit back, you know, you're looking at the poor people on the ground as you're in your high story condo. Or you're either on a yacht laid back with a cigarette and your shades on looking at all the poor people on the beach because you have your own beach on your yacht. It's called Sadness by Enigma. So let me get into my character. You see, it's very just... It's so sad to see all those commoners down there. Beneath me. Tyler, look at that. Maybe we should throw those poor black people a couple of dollars off the yacht. Oh my God, Tyler, you buffooned me. Did you just say maybe we should throw them over the yacht to the sharks? <laughs> oh, you ruined me. Now, I don't know what the heck this song is talking about. <laughs> and the only reason I know this song is because it used to come on in, like, movies or commercials. <laughs> and all I can ever remember is them saying, Sam Dumois. <laughs> like, literally, me trying to find this song was me on Twitch asking people, y'all know that song, Sam Dumois? And literally, my black piggies over here was like, Hum it again. I was like, now you know, get in there when you black and when I know the song. I don't even know why they even bothered. <laughs> but lucky, one of my Polynesian fish sisters, she found the song. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think it was always like sex scenes. <laughs> you know what? This song actually would be hot to make love to. I wonder if my uncle available tomorrow. I live for that, I think it's called a, a bumbunzel. 
It's a Mediterranean flute, a babunzel. <laughs> no, right, no, Sade could sing the song. No, literally, it does give very Sade. You give me that kung fu life. Or that other song, um, how did that song go by Sade? I gave you all my time, I gave you na 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 It does give that, I can see her doing that. So you're Sam Dima. Ow! Oh, that's all I remember. Sam Dima. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> do, 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 do. Ow! <laughs> and I left from doing Chucky e. Chance in the background. Hi, 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 me who ya he me who ya die ya Dumbella Dumbella Haya I live. Really somebody said that this song topped the Billboard dance charts and went number five on Billboard Five. I but honestly I couldn't picture dancing to this. But you know, I could, but like for fun. Like it wouldn't be like at a hip hop club, right? But if I was at some like artsy rave kind of place and this song came on, I could see me wearing a little like paint her hat and spinning around and in my wide leg khakis. <laughs> they should have the song on Drag Race. I mean, it has no words. Most of the girls don't read no words anyway. <laughs> that was my song, but there's somebody here who is he's so into my look right now. He wants me to give him just one moment of embracing his culture and just doing a little bit of something where I'm biting my non-existent top lip and fist pumping. So I have to just do this just really quick and then that'll be it. But that was Sadness by Enigma. I messed up my hair. <laughs> I don't know how you white men be biting y'all non-existent lips because that hurt. That really hurt. <laughs> anyway, that has been jamming with Pierre. <laughs> Investment with Pierre. Now let's get to the show. I sent a UK queen home, which is exactly what I came here to do, bitch. Oh, she's really trying to be that villain. Such an icon. I'm very sad for jumpers. I'll tell you, everybody's an icon. Everybody. <laughs> the word has no meaning anymore. You're an icon. You're an icon. You're an icon. You're an icon. We're all icons and acorns. <laughs> So Tia chose Jombers as well. Are y'all shook of? It's your special guest judge, Tom Daly. I think I saw her on Grinder before. We're playing Snatch Game. The f Girl, another Snatch Game. This is Snatch Game Overload. We just had Snatch Game in season 16. Jesus. Two feuding families. I think they said they're doing Snatch Game Family Feud Edition. I think. Then again, I'm crunching so loud on these chips, I can barely hear it. Hashtag Drag Race UK. Someone said RuPaul Alley, he doesn't want to be there. I think he just sick or tired. And probably that too. I mean, after 80 seasons, wouldn't you be? <laughs> oh, I've never done Snatch Game. So this will be first time seeing Scarlett do a Snatch Game. I'm quite sure I'm not going to know most of these people that they're doing because they're from different, you know, internationally. Oh, international. Show you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I barely knew who the girls were doing season 16 this time around, so uh, I'll try to follow it and see. Really base my decisions <laughs> off of your past. This might remind me that the Philippine Snatch Game lasted a whole hour and we skipped through it and it was still long. <laughs> a feeling. And you've applied. If I had to guess, Legrand is doing Celine Dion. If I had to guess, that's what the wig is giving me. If I had to guess, but nobody asked me to. Okay, will you have your head? Oh, I will. When she asked, will you have your head? That's when you unzip your pants and show her the head. Oh, you know the head. But she's doing some person whose head was cut off. Carla Bruni. You actually didn't talk about. She's doing Carla Bruni something, a supermodel. And she's clocking RuPaul for not mentioning her name in her supermodel song. I don't know who she is either. So basically you're playing yourself because in your mind you're a supermodel. Got it. Everybody gets me. Okay. I'm getting more Donald Trump. <laughs> Second guessing my choices right now. RuPaul's like, did it again. I got a queen. Second guessing herself. On to the next table. 
Can you do an English accent? Try to do an English accent if you ask me to. Once again, I'm the best person to do this. And I won't even do it right now because I don't want to embarrass them. But it was a nice try. I don't know. I don't drink tea. <laughs> British people are right now turning red and getting ready to call management. I think they're mad. Fran Drescher. And on your- Wait, who did Fran Drescher before? Who did- Somebody did her on their season. You Shirley Temple? Yeah. Oh, is this Jimbo part two? Doing the Shirley Temple thing, whatever he did for Snatch Game, I think. <laughs> Which was ridiculous. Annabelle or uh, Megan, the dog? Oh, Megan. Look at Megan getting a shout out. Ow. <sighs> Carrie, your high notes. I think he's coming for you. Ow. Will be the Statue of Liberty. Sure. And you've got people love doing the Statue of Liberty. They read those runways or whatever the case is. But this somebody doing her as a character. Okay. Let's see what kind of character she makes out of her. To it. I, I don't think I can. I'll be like dripping. Gothy. Just go home. It's okay. I get it to be nervous and stuff. I get it. I get it. But you're going to have to do it on the main stage if you really are doing it. So if you can't do it right now in front of him right now, then. But this could be some kind of edit where she ends up killing it in the Snatch Game. So we'll see. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I hate how it cut to Tia just now. Tia was looking like an old turkey. Girl, she was looking like some old hen. With this call around her neck, <laughs> some old. <laughs> Just want to like put my hand up Gothy's ass and then use her like. I think you want to do that anyway. <laughs> right now, I'm like I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> Gothy, remember this moment so you can sue RuPaul later on. She, she threatened to hit me. So if I was you, I would remember this moment and sue her. And <laughs> yeah. This is embarrassing, RuPaul. <laughs> Stop embarrassing this poor girl. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Hello. That's a supermodel? Okay. Oh, yeah. I know you're a dirty, dirty man. And you need... So, Ozzy Osbourne is now trans? Got it. <laughs> Up next. <laughs> now RuPaul laughing because she know. Gothy going home. <laughs> Oh, you don't have it, and I don't have it. <laughs> girl, no. Fran been through it. And the voice, no. Girl. You gotta even answer that a little bit, you know? It's like going down to the fifth floor street. Poor baby. Nanny Pacquiao! Hello, everybody. Who the hell is Nanny? <laughs> when I tell you he looks just like a lot of Filipino guys <laughs> down there by the, by the shrimp boats. <laughs> down by the shrimp boats. Oh, you know the ones. <laughs> Grown man. Now for a second I thought she added some fake teeth. I was like, oh, that's her teeth. <laughs> I did. I was like, oh, she's really dedicated to the character. <laughs> Story of my life. She puts me in the mind of like a Tamar, a, a, a Braxton sister. I don't know if it's like all the cheeks done and everything, but she gives me like very much like one of the girls or like one of the Braxton sisters. <laughs> Girl, Shirley, look at my Sherry Pie. Oh, Shirley, Shirley ain't been the same since TV went to color. Oh, I think she was better off left in black and white. <laughs> Hi, RuPaul. Hi. RuPaul's literally laughing at how ridiculous she looks. Cause, oh my God, hold on. This. <laughs> Factual Liberty, I am so sorry. You do not look that hard in the face. <laughs> you don't. You have been standing there holding that torch for many years. You don't deserve this. She could have at least made you look a little more fish. <laughs> I will say, though, whatever makeup this is, good. I mean, I wish she would have done more definitions and more contouring and highlighting to the face. But whatever this is, it's the perfect color. And it seems to not be blotchy. So good job on that. First wife of Henry the... I don't know who this is, but she literally looks like one of those portraits of those people. Because I swear, people back then looked so different than how we look now. I don't know if it's the way artists painted them, but you would think humans were a whole other species from back in the day, from the way they look. 
<laughs> but she literally looks like one of those people. <laughs> I left me trying to figure out how they work, <laughs> but now, okay, now I got it. <laughs> I don't think back then the queens had honey Beyonce weave back then. I don't, I don't think so. But then again, I wasn't born back then. And damn, that, that queen's neck was thick. She had a really thick neck. <laughs> Several many complaints. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> I do not wake up like that. <laughs> okay. If there is a God to save me. <laughs> <laughs> My dignity. Your dignity. Oh, I thought she'd say something else. I'm like, you got one of those? Wow. If you were dating me, that would be a red flag because I'm seven. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought, you know, I thought RuPaul said seven years old and so wide. <laughs> I thought she said wide. <laughs> now that would have been funny. She said wise. She said wide. Like, oh, well. If he is not wearing a condom. Not somebody coming on a date already wearing a condom. I stand. I stand that. <laughs> they're already ready. At least they're protected. Thank you. To name a food. That puts you in the mood. Collard greens. It's a food. I forgot I'm white. A nice thick Newton on Mignong soup. <laughs> has to wear a suit. Oh, okay. All right. I'm white. <laughs> You're white. Yeah. Okay, go back to your to your seat. Go back. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> it was it was funnier when Jimbo did it, but. I'm actually kind of doing, doing, doing a good job actually, actually doing the dance. <laughs> the winner of tonight, Satan. AKA RuPaul. Well, I will say I was a little more entertained than the season 16 one, but kind of for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I'm just glad it's over. My first boyfriend I had when I was 15. I Not a boyfriend at 15. What were y'all even doing? Your ding dings can't even wing wing. Oh, God. I really struggled to fully give myself to someone you struggle to give yourself to somebody not judging by your videos i think you do it quite easy <laughs> oh dang rupaul look over it <laughs> oh my god she really looks oh, that last little step she was gonna be take was like a deep breath of <sighs> here we go again like she <laughs> i think she's just not feeling good this season uh, it's a dress what can I say? It's a dress. You know I don't care for the wig. It's a dress. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, we both tuck. And we He's actually kind of cute. He is. He's kind of cute. I I can't even say like, huh, typical white twink. He's kind of cute. It's Captain Jack Swallows. <laughs> Category is nautical. I feel like they've done this before, or either I'm just thinking about the princess back in the day when she did this kind of nautical look. But I'm going to buy this. I like this. I like this. She said, I'm going to make up for the snatch game and wear this. <laughs> I keep thinking that that part in the back is a part of somebody's wardrobe, but just the decorations. But I'm going to buy this though. I love a big booty. And big booties hold the most dookie. Oh, God. Serving just one chin, three teeth, and I have serious. I will say her makeup, this is probably the best I've seen her makeup. And I don't know if it's because half of her face is being hidden, but <laughs> no, but for real, she looks really pretty in the face. You know what? It's it's something more that could be happening down below the legs. But I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I think it's very cool and different. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she looks gorgeous. And I don't know what kind of pattern this is, but I'm buying it. That is really sickening. I love the pack. It's, it's very French. It really is. I'm going to buy this. Ow. You know what she is? Very sufficient. All the girls are bringing it this, like, for the runway today. I'm buying this, too. It's very what happened at Titanic, the lost ghosts of the women of Titanic. I'm... Oh, here go Miss Stiff. But you know what, though? This is very... It's simple. But clean, effective, it's cute. I'm gonna buy it. And I actually like the purple, um, the purple thin sheer stockings. It's it's a really silky, pretty it's, it's a pretty color. It's very it's very ocean, it's very pearl, it's very oyster, the shimmer of it. Um yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. It gives me like if one of the Ariel sisters came up from the ocean and they, you know, 
I mean, it kind of does look like it's just like a panty there at the bottom, but I'm still gonna buy it though. I'm gonna buy it. It's it's simple, but I'm gonna buy it. Oh wait, that's just her legs. But the lighting was making her look, she had on, on these sheer, like very sheer, thin purple, trans, translucent purple um, fish, um, stockings. This dress gets laced. Finally, I don't have to buy something. <laughs> but I will, I'm not, I can't, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna rent it, but then put it back and lay away. I think what my issue is, is that somehow compared to Scarlet, this seems more costumey. I can't explain it. Like, I feel like I can go rent this at the costume shop, but something from Scarlet, maybe because she went all out with this whole like dead, you know, thing. Um, I buy it more. So yeah, so it's okay. Orion woman waiting to find out. But I do like the face and the hair with the, with the little headpiece. I want her to sit on my lace. I don't get it. What? Are you squinting me? <laughs> okay, from the back, it was like, okay, what's getting ready to happen? And then when she turned, no. <laughs> First, you need more body. I'm sorry you do. Um, it's just too basic in the front. Like, what's going on with the front? Like, I feel like this, you could have added more. Maybe some of the tentacles could have came around to wrap around your leg. You no, know, because it's kind of giving like you're trying to go like, Ursula kind of thing. But if you would have had like maybe the tentacles coming down your leg, like boots or something like that. Maybe something in the torso area. Maybe something on the chest. Just something. I don't know. Some shells. Something. It just kind of just is like, okay. So... Eh, like, it's not horrible, but I just wish it had more to it. That's all. I'm going to come back another day and ask the tailor to add some more stuff to it. He got tangled up in cap. I might say she looks dead in the eyes. I think she's trying to look sexy. <laughs> she, she looks a little uncomfortable. I don't really get the makeup either. The, show, the, the shadow with it. Maybe something dark. And also, if she would have had some wet hair, some wet black hair, and like this dark kind of eyeshadow, smoky eye, this lip, to give off with this whole like liquid latex kind of like you know, octopus thing, I think that would have helped sell it as well. Marina Summers. Yeah. So I feel like I've seen this look before a couple of times in a in a different color. Um, it's very what? Who who's done something like this? Is it very Ariana Grande? Is it very? You know, I've seen this before. But with that being said, I'm still gonna buy it. I love the extra long anchor with the robe. It's extra. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. And I didn't notice. The, I didn't notice the liquid in the raw part. That's sickening. So yeah, definitely a buy. Like yes. Uh, <laughs> this long. Actually, water in the shoes are not new. Water in the shoes is very back the '70s disco with the fish at the bottom of the platform. Learn your history. Exactly. You are both safe. I kind of thought they were going to put trees on the bottom. I kind of did. Like, it's a vibe. It's a vibe all the time. A vibe all the time. Be here, and I, I want to deliver. All right. Well, thank you. You're probably like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Stop begging. You going home. The wonderful Celine Dion. Hey, Batman. See, I said Celine Dion. I said that. Why didn't she do it? Who knows? I know she's Canadian, but you still could have. Just saying. I give good head, too. Oh, great. <laughs> He's like, oh great, but nobody touches that part of my body. I'm all woman. There is someone inside of you who's saying- No, there's been more than just someone. <laughs> I'll be here all night with OnlyFans jokes. <laughs> it's just JK, y'all. You are the top two queens of the week. I mean, I guess I agree. Yeah, to you, for sure, for sure. So yeah, congrats girls. Do y'all agree? Congratulations. I don't think Skrull is happy. Kata Minaj and Gothy Ken. Wait, why do I feel like Legrand should have been there though? For some weird reason, she could have easily fell in the bottom too tonight. For some weird, but Gothy was bad. I feel like Keta, if I had to go between Keta and Legrand, I probably would have put Legrand there because I feel like at least Keta was trying a lot more or trying to give some other kind of thing. With Legrand, I didn't really get much at all, just her. So I'm like, yeah, they're pulling, stunt, pulling stunts. Oh. You could you doing, Yeah, I'm all right. It's just- Child, Godfrey don't care. She ready to go home. <laughs> I feel like she just already knows. She just like, whatever. I'm surprised it lasted this long. <laughs> she has a bad habit of saying, I'm going to be shit at this. Well. <laughs> feeling that I'm competing against the best, the best. best. and so basically I'm sending you home <laughs> I'll say her wig sitting up high <laughs> hi 
Ah, yeah. This is going to be water of a tish back. Tia got on her Whitney Houston wig with her swan eyeshadow. <laughs> and it's not lip synced yet, so I don't. No, but seriously though, why that wig or that outfit? <laughs> Girl, what in the Whitney Whitney Houston does the Dark Witch on Broadway? What is happening? Oh, that's why she wore the wig, so it shaked vigorously. Okay. Oh, and it's a 70s theme song. Okay. I haven't heard this song, but I think I like it too. Because it's, it's giving me very much 70s. I think I'm into it. Oh, shucks. You know what's funny? <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I feel like even though I appreciate, what is her name? I, oh, Hannah. At least at the moment, she's not giving me clownery foolery. But it's always funny when you see somebody who's considered campy trying to be all sexy and serious. Because for some reason, you still want to laugh. <laughs> it's like at, at any minute, I'm waiting for her to pull out a horn and honk it. Go, honka, honka. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> Ow, she did that. Ow. She said no clownery tonight. It used to be only the white girls that act the fool on stage to win. Now it's the black girls. <laughs> but I guess they're doing it in different ways. Like, Hannah's trying to be serious and Tia's like, let me be dramatic. <laughs> no, I tell you, Hannah actually really meant that get away from me. That, that push. Or can you move? I'm trying to be serious right now. <laughs> Coffee. No, Hannah, you won. Sorry, you did. You won. You won that. It was your night, boo. You won that. You won. But I told y'all, these days, it's not about performing good anymore. It's about acting a fool. One of you is a fully realized queen. Oh, God, I think I should. <laughs> Cater. That's, okay, no. This show is shenanigan century. Now, any other time, the girls, the queens are saying, this is not the place to grow. You got to grow before you come here. But now she's saying, I kept her because she can grow while she's here. No. <laughs> no, no shade to Gothi, but no, no. Like, y'all y'all be, one minute y'all saying th these other things, and now this is like, come on now. Is it because she's from the UK? Is it so you can get a discount on her OnlyFans? Like what's, what's, the, what's the tea? What's happening? Right, I guess you want to get rid of the stronger competition. I don't know. I'm just like, no. When I tell you they are saving Gothi for some weird reason, I don't know what's going on, but I, cause now I wonder, did Hannah have Gothi in her, in her hand? And that's why they chose Tia to win. Hmm. At least I had a ball. Cheerio. Yeah, she's over it. <laughs> As she should be. If it was up to me, this wasn't the right decision. I think Tia chose Gothi to stay because she cannot, like, eliminate another UK queen, you know? Of course, you want to go all the way to the end, you know? But sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Well... What do you guys think of this episode tonight? Please let me know down below in the comment section. And as always, I thank you for watching my raw view. This has been quite a delight to be here on this platform that they call YouTube. It's been very diligent, as they say, in the country yard clubbing that we do with the other fancy white people like myself. I personally think Gothi probably shouldn't be there right now, but then again, she is Caucasian, so I relate to that on a spiritual level. So congratulations on making it. Congratulations, Keta, for making it that far. Well, as always, remember to comment down below. But keep it nice and cute and simple. And remember to keep it cute. Keep it mute. Or get the boot. <laughs> All right. I'll see you for the Fig Newton brunch. Oh, and please, darling, this time, do not bring the potato salad. Bring the carrot salad. All right. Stay beat. Stay beautiful. But most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho. Or Kamochi. Bye bye. I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is Fubu?